Hi guys, this is Manas Patnaik and today I'll be taking you to the world of projection of points. So guys, this particular tutorial is actually a recreation and I've already put up a video based on projection of points earlier. But this time around, this particular tutorial is very concise, very brief and the pictorial representations are something that you will definitely appreciate. In this tutorial, we'll get into the details of point projection in 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th quadrant. You'll also learn to construct front views and top views for different position of points and you'll also develop a sense of understanding as to when principal planes are to be made transparent. In the next 15 to 20 minutes, all you guys are surely going to develop a relationship with projection that's going to last forever. Now let's understand all of this with the help of a pictorial representation. So guys, this is going to be case one where I'll be discussing the projection of a point one. So let us say that the point we have is here and it is represented by a point um, A. Now we are going to look at this point from two different views. We are going to look at this point right from the front. That is, this is going to be your front view, which will be obtained in this VP, that is vertical plane. And at the same time, we'll be looking at this same point from the top. So from this, we are going to get a top view somewhere around this horizontal plane. All right. Now, the next thing that we'll be doing is, I'm going to be telling you some notations. They are in the form of H and D. Now, guys, please remember H is for distance, D-I-S-T, distance from HP. And D is for distance from VP. All right. So the distance v D is can be in front of the vertical plane and distance H is above this horizontal plane. All right. Okay, so when you look at this point right from the front, you're going to have a view and that view in fact is going to be your front view. So it's uh, <coughs> going to somewhere intersect this vertical plane over here. So this is going to be your front view and I'll write over here simply A dash. A dash. Similarly, when you look at this object from the top, this projector is going to intersect this horizontal plane somewhere here and this is what you call simply a now guys this distance over here you see this distance is what you call distance h since it is lying above the horizontal plane or the distance from horizontal plane at the same time you have this distance and this is what you call distance d that is in front of the vertical plane so always remember and the next thing that i'll be doing is joining this front view with the top view with the help of this line over here and you can clearly see so that since it's an orthographic view that this angle is going to be obviously 90 degrees but now our objective is to convert this pictorial representation this is what you call guys a pictorial representation and we are going to convert this pictorial representation into an orthographic view and for doing so please watch the steps carefully we are going to rotate this horizontal plane by an angle of 90 degree clockwise CW clockwise and on doing so we'll have this um, vertical plane as well as horizontal plane coplanar so that it can be drawn on a drawing sheet or a plane sheet of paper all right so initially i'll be starting off with this guy that is this line this is what you call a reference line xy and let us draw this reference line okay now above this reference line we have this vp and below this reference line we have this hp so this is x this is y as far as point a dash is concerned it's going to be somewhere here this distance is obviously going to be h and we have this projector line and somewhere down here from this distance we have point d always remember guys that you need to put a dash with h so the name of the point is a so you need to put a dash with a all right since this dimension is h and with d you don't need to put a dash it's simply a Okay guys, so that was all about first quadrant. Now we're going to be dealing with case two that is point in second quadrant. So in this case, we have a point which lies behind the vertical plane and above the horizontal plane. So this is what you call simply point A. Let us say the name of the point is A. And we're going to uh, draw its projections. And for that, we need to have a view. Now we are going to look at this object that is in fact a point from the front. And the same object, we're going to look at it from the top. Now guys, the problem is when you try to look at this object from the front, it appears as if between the observer this is what you call the observer and this is point a that is in fact an object so between observer and object you have this plane plane of projection okay so this is what you call plane of 
projection so this acts as a hindrance so what happens when you try to look at this object up from here you will have this plane of projection in between you cannot see this object so in order to make sure that you can see the object you need to make this plane of projection transparent so this is basically a case um, which happens in quadrant number two and as far as first quadrant was concerned there was no requirement to make any plane of projection to be transparent okay so now we let us look at this object right from the front and when you look at it um, this is the transparent plane vertical plane you are going to end up having its front view somewhere around here and this guys is what you call uh, a dash since it's a front view a dash all right now we are going to look at this object from above from the top and it's going to intersect cut this horizontal plane somewhere here and this point is what you call simply a all right so let's write over here a few of the dimensions which are to be done um, <clears throat> this is the line which connects both the views that is front view as well as top view this over here is what you call the front view this over here is what you call the top view um, one more thing that I would like to elucidate is this distance this distance is in fact in behind the vertical plane and any distance associated with vertical plane shall be represented by T and this distance over here you guys can see this distance is above the horizontal plane so it has to be represented by H all right now we are supposed to draw an orthographic view for this pictorial representation how that can be done please have a careful look again the same policy in the previous case also I told you that the horizontal plane has to be rotated by an angle of 90 degree clockwise the same thing will be done and repeated in this case also so what we're gonna do is we'll rotate this horizontal plane by an angle of 90 degrees 90 degrees in the clockwise sense on doing so what will happen this vertical plane and this horizontal plane both of them are going to overlap all right something like this all right this horizontal plane is going to be overlapping with this vertical plane above this so-called x y line so you're going to end up having something like this this is what you call the x y line the very popular x y line x and y all right and uh, already the vertical plane is already lying above this x y line and since horizontal plane comes and patches up overlaps with the vertical planes we are going to have a horizontal plane also with this vertical plane so both of them are overlapping you can also say that front views and top views are going to mix up so it's going to be very difficult for you to figure out as to which part of this is the front view and which part of this is the top view that's why all over the world you're going to see people advising or going for first quadrant projection or third quadrant projection in india russia and i guess in the uk uh, they follow the projection of point in the first quadrant or assuming the object up in above the HP and in front of the VP very whereas when you go to countries like the USA and uh, some other North, uh, North American and South American countries they follow the third angle prediction where the object is assumed to be below the horizontal plane and behind the vertical plane so I'll be taking up that case also but before that let us finish this second quadrant so when you do so we'll have this vertical plane and horizontal plane both of them lying above this XY line and this is going to be the projector line guys now these two lines are also going to overlap each other since uh, this is going to make a 90 degree angle and then rotated and overlapped okay so this is where we are going to find point a dash all right and this is going to come over here and a so that's a this guys is what you call h all right see this see this and this over here d is going to somewhere going to lie somewhere here so that's point d for you so that's all guys this is what you call front view this is what you call top view always put a dash with this dimension h no dash with this dimension d so that was all from my side always remember in second quadrant you don't get to see the point from the front and hence you have to make it this vertical plane transparent that's it guys so now let's head over to case number it's going to be real fun guys so guys this over here is quadrant number three and you can clearly see that the point I'm going to put a point over here this point is below the horizontal plane and behind this vertical plane okay now we'll try to find its views um, obviously the front view is going to lie on the vertical plane and we're also going to have its top view obviously on a horizontal plane plane now let us say that the name of this point is a and when you try to look at this object right from the front what happens this vertical plane comes in between so you won't be able to see this object 
okay and at the same time when you try to look at this object from the top this horizontal plane comes in between so in order to visualize the object that is in fact a point you need to make sure that these two planes are absolute transparent so one thing that has to be done is to make both the planes transparent transparent both HP and VP so both of them are to be made transparent and then when you do so you can easily have its view so the front view is going to lie somewhere here so this is going to be the intersection point and I'm going to write over here a dash a dash okay so let's have this line done now when you simply look at this object right from the top you're going to have the intersection point over here okay and this is guys is what you call the top view so this is represented by simply by a and again let us connect this front view with this top view now what about H what about D let us have those distances worked out now I've already told you any distance below or above the horizontal plane is represented by H so this over here guys is what you call distance H okay and here we have this distance that is in fact behind the vertical plane so this is what you call the okay now again the same philosophy we know that horizontal plane has to be rotated by an angle of 90 degree in the clockwise sense all right and when you do so you'll have this xy line xy line so let us uh, make this corresponding orthographic view we have this in front of us an xy line okay and this distance will be above all right something like this all right and this point over here is what you call point a dash and this distance you can work out this distance what is this this is the all right now this distance we are worried about this distance over here and below this distance we are going to have your point a dash that is in fact uh, the front view okay so make this correction guys this is not a dash this is simply a all right so let us go down below and over here we are going to have ourselves a dash and this dimension you already know that wherever there is a dash there has to be an edge and vice versa okay so this is what you call the front view front view is below the HP XY so front view is below XY line and top view is above the XY line all right so it is exactly this particular projection case is exactly opposite to the first quadrant where the front view was above XY and top view was below here the top view is above XY front view is below and over there in the first quadrant we have this uh, X above XY line we had vertical plane and below XY line we had horizontal plane but as far as third quadrant is concerned you're going to have this XY line above which you will have this horizontal plane in which you have this top view all right all of them are connected to each other no dash and below this XY line you will be having a vertical plane all right guys so this is what you call a vertical plane in which you will have this front view and front view is accompanied with a dash so that was all in quadrant number three and now let's head on to quadrant number four for our final case so now let's focus uh, in this fourth quadrant and we have a point over here and you can clearly see that this point lies below this horizontal plane and in front of the vertical plane okay so let us say that the name of this point is again represented by a and now similarly we're going to look at this point right from the front this way for the front view which is going to be obtained somewhere here in this vertical plane same time we're going to look at this object right from the top for the top view which is going to be obtained somewhere around here that is the horizontal plane now guys the problem is when you try to look at this object from the top this horizontal plane tends to come in between okay and for that reason HP has to be made transparent transparent all right fine now let us see when you look at this object from the top this is where we're going to have the top view so this is the top view of the point and let us say that this top view is represented by simply writing a okay same time when you look at this object right from the front no issues this is the observer this is the object and behind it is the plane of projection which in fact in this case is a vertical plane so this is going to be the front view you need to put a dash with this front view okay now let us join this front view with this what you call top view let us do so and obviously this angle 
is going to be 90 degrees since it is an orthographic projection you now both the both the principal planes are at 90 degree angles right angles all right now the next thing to be done same old story what you do you need to rotate this horizontal plane by a certain angle you know that's an angle 90 degree clockwise okay so you have this xy line and what will happen when you after you rotate this horizontal plane by an angle of 90 degrees this vertical plane and this horizontal plane are going to overlap all right and what will happen this it's going to get difficult for us to figure out as to which one is the front view which one is the top view this is the point this can be figured out but when you speak of real front views and top views of uh, complex machinery uh, or say even the plan and elevation of residential buildings it's going to get really difficult to figure out which one of which part of this is the front view and which part is the top view that's why it is not advisable to draw or to prepare drawing assuming the object to be below hp and in front of vp okay it is always advisable to make sure that their drawings are done in first angle or third angle that is in the first quadrant or in the third quadrant all right now let's focus our attention towards drawing its corresponding orthographic view so we have this xy line xy line okay and below this xy line we have this vertical plane and after rotating this horizontal plane this hp overlaps with this vp all right so i'm going to write over here hp that means it's clearly means that the front view as well as top view both of them are going to lie below this xy line all right <coughs> always remember guys you need to put a dash okay so this distance is in front of the vp so this is represented by d this distance over here is below the hp has to be represented by h we all have used this notation before in the three cases now the next thing to do is assuming uh, h is greater than d okay so we'll have this h is greater than this d a dash and this over here is going to be the corresponding dimension h let us say d comes out here so this is going to be dimension d and that's no dash simply a so this is how you need to draw uh, the projection of any point in fourth quadrant this represents the front view and this a represents the top view both vp and hp are lying below xy line now that you have gone through point prediction in all four quadrants, let us summarize everything. You speak of case 1, object above HP and in front of VP, always remember H above XY and D below XY. With H you need to put a dash and with D you don't need to put a dash. Then we have case 2, that is object above HP and behind VP. For this we have both H and D above XY line, that means both front and top views are going to lie or overlap above the XY line. Similarly you have case 3 that is for a point lying in third quadrant for the point is below the horizontal plane and behind the vertical plane in this case both these planes are to be made transparent and then only projections uh, can be carried out well as far as this third quadrant is concerned we have d above xy and h below xy that is top view above xy and front view below xy so this is the basic difference between first and third quadrant in first quadrant you have front view above and top view below whereas in third quadrant we have top view above and front view below and finally we have this fourth quadrant where we have this point uh, below hp and in front of vp in this particular case we need to make this horizontal plane transparent all right and uh, after a rotation of planes and after obtaining the views you'll realize that both front views and top views overlap below this so-called x y line all right so guys that was all from my side if you really appreciate the content and presentation in this video do give it a big thumbs up in case of any queries or doubts do leave a comment down in the comment section below this is manas patnak signing off take care and keep going